Hello YouTube. Welcome back. Today we're going to be doing a special video. This is something I've never done and I really never paid attention to until just now. I'm going to be doing my top 10 most valued pops. Now, on my Funko app, I have obviously certain things like cons pops that are worth $70, but I'm not going to include those because I don't have the actual con sticker and those actually only I really only mean the con sticker. So, we're going to do my top 10 pops. My first one is going to be $44. Now, I have some damage to some of these. Wear and tear. I've had some of them for a long time. So, this one right here. Awesome. Hot Topic exclusive. Now, I paid $2 for this on clearance. I think it's a pretty good deal. Only thing is, top corner got some slight damage. But you know, $44, pretty cool. I mean, if I get 20 bucks, this is pretty cool. I'm actually looking to get 35 out of it or to trade something for it. But you know, hit me up if you want to work out a trade. Okay, number nine. It's going to be $50. We have the Hot Topic exclusive Bride of Chucky. Funny story about this, I bought this from a guy off of uh, Facebook for 10 bucks. I took it, put it directly in this, never looked at it again. It's been on the shelf for probably about four years now. It's in 2016. Yeah, it's about four years now. Uh, I took it out tonight to look at it, and it's got some actual damage to it. It's got some waviness in the front. Um, it's funny that I've never actually taken it off my shelf to really pay attention to it. But, uh, yeah, that's, I love the back of it. It's been on my shelf for so long and it's got so much dust on it. It's, yeah, it's pretty awesome. The next one, I bought this one at, uh, Hot Topic. Look at this. This one's going for 55 Little DTs from Beetlejuice, 640. Uh, this one surprised me. I didn't pick up Beetlejuice. I didn't really want him. I just wanted this one. I liked her dress. It's the only reason why I picked it up. Uh, yeah, she's an awesome one. So next one is going to be another Hot Topic exclusive. This one I found in the wild. I was very, very happy about finding this one. Um, Hades, Cool in the Dark Chase. Uh, one time he was worth like 130 That's when I first found him. But, uh... Let's take a look at that glow. Why not? Is that the light up and the little dark? Let's see. <laughs> he hasn't been. He's kind of glowing there. But yeah, here he is. In the next one, uh, this is Dexter Funko Shop exclusive. This one I got off the Funko Shop. I uh, yeah, paid fifteen bucks for him. This next one I just got in my collection. It's the uh, Freddy Funko Chucky. He's valued at 70. Him and uh, Dexter are actually tied, but you know, this one's obviously gonna go up in value. They're both gonna go up in value, but this one's a limited edition, so I think he should be number five. 3,000 piece, pretty awesome. The next one, I paid $5 for this at a video game flea market. It's going to be, no, actually, this is, yeah, I paid $5 for it. This is Grumpy. Uh, it's worth $75. Pretty awesome. Here he is. When I saw him, I was like, oh, I had to have him. Yeah, 20. He's got like 12 on there. July 12th is pretty, he's awesome. Love him. Now, this next one, um, got a lot of sentimental value to it. This one's number three. Uh, Dr. Frankenberger. Uh, this one belonged to my best friend. Um, he passed away. This one, um, I didn't even know he had it. I found it in his room. Uh, it's pretty funny, I think. It's worth $80. He comes in number three. Uh, yeah, I don't know. He's always been worth money. Since I first found him down, I looked him up, and he was like 50 bucks, and he's gone up $30, so... Let's hope they keep going. I hope they don't make new ones for any kind of anniversaries or anything. I really hope they don't. 
Uh, they got all the characters back there, so maybe if they make a con one or something, this one will go up even more. I don't know. But, uh, Missy Kyle, we'll definitely be posting this on your page there, Facebook page, and uh, letting you know that you are a part of the channel. This next one is Marty McFly. It's coming at number two. Uh, this one shot up in value over, I'm not sure if it's right or not, but he's coming up at 135. Uh, I believe it. He's my favorite one. He's a personal grail to me. Uh, I got him off a Funko shop. Um, yeah, he's pretty cool. So next one is number one. Um, $155. Uh, true story, this is my very first pop. I didn't want him. My mom bought him when she got the Avengers movie. She asked me which one I wanted. They had all five. Uh... I picked Iron Man. I only kept it because she gave it to me. Uh, but funny enough, it's my first one. I have over 500 pops in my collection now. And this is the most valuable pop I ever had. Or will have, I'm assuming. Um, he has some damage to him. Uh, I'm not sure how this happened. But before I ever looked him up to see what he was worth, because I didn't care because my mom gave it to me, I uh, didn't have him in a protector or anything. And after I figured out what he was really worth, I was like, whoa. One thing that's pretty crazy, though, is that there's nothing on the bottom of this at all. And if I look at Grumpy, it's the same exact way. Or, let's see. Ah, so you can actually, no, it's like that. So you can see it there. There you go. Yeah, well, actually, it's, I came in like this. That would make more sense, right? But, uh, yeah, 155 bucks for him. He was at two, what, 195 like three days ago. He seems to, to move up and down. Um, I'll never trade him off, obviously. Um, he is uh, forever a part of me. I do hope one day I have a goal to get Robert Downey Jr. to autograph him. I want to get it authenticated, and then I want to send it in and get it capsuled. Um, or just get it capsuled how it is. But I really, really, really want to get this autographed from uh, Robert Downey Jr. That would be awesome. So yes, those are my top 10. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, like and subscribe. I'm going to be doing this every six months. Um, I can say right now that I didn't pay over Fifteen dollars for any of you know, actually, I, yeah, actually, no, I lie. Freddy Funko was fifteen dollars because I bought three pops, which are forty-five. So I decided to break it up, and I made it fifteen dollars each. So yeah, I didn't pay a f over fifteen dollars for any of my top ten pops. Pretty awesome. Um, that's probably why I don't have very many in my collection. That's over a hundred dollars. Uh, it's because of that. So, yes, have a good day. Thank you for watching, and. Uh, Sorry if you uh, don't want to hear me ramble on, but yep, have a good day.